It is the 3rd of the 1st, 2012, and this is today's climate change update. I want to start tonight by announcing that I've started another project with another channel, uh, Hippie News and Stuff. They do a weekly news channel. Uh, I am going to do a short 2-3 minute um, script as a part of that. I've already done one. They posted the video. I will attach the link below. Uh, please look into Winston and the rest of the hippies and uh, see what's going on with them. Uh, go ahead and subscribe to them and leave a comment down below. Let them know I sent you. Um, so if you want to see uh, something else that I'm doing, definitely check it out. Over to SOT.net tonight. Greece increased seismic activity at dangerous uh, Santornini Caldera uh, seismic unrest beneath the Caldera, which has started in July 2011, continues into 2012, greeting the world with a small swarm of quakes, quakes beneath the caldera. And uh, it's another volcano gearing up. Indonesia, recent earthquakes rattling East Java, having agitated volcanoes. And again, that's the story where uh, three volcanoes have been geared up due to earthquake activity in East Java, Indonesia. Uh, South Africa, New Year's Eve storm kills five. Four people are still missing. Five people have uh, been confirmed dead following extreme weather that brought high winds and floods uh, to the Midland areas. And on New Year's Eve, four remain missing and 22 were being treated in hospital. Some very extreme weather there. Uh, is a super volcano just just 390 miles from London about to erupt. Now this is the supervolcano in Germany. A sleeping supervolcano in Germany is showing worrying signs of waking up. It's lurking just 390 miles away underneath the tranquil uh, Latcher Sea Lake near Bonn and is capable of ejecting billions of tons of magma. This monster erupts every 10 to 12,000 years and last went off 12,900 years ago. So it could blow at any time. They have videos uh, showing where there is uh, carbon bubbles, um, CO2 release coming out from underneath the lake. Um, definitely increased activity there. So yet another volcano gearing up. 20 tons of dead fish on Norway beaches. Uh, the inhabitants of Troms could hardly believe their eyes on the morning of New Year's Eve when a very large amount, an estimated 10 to 20 tons of dead herring washed up on the beaches. And uh, they're saying how this is a big mystery and they're testing the fish to see if they died of disease or whatnot. Um, what I saw in a lot, of, a lot of the comment boards underneath is that the EU has a very strict uh, quota for fishing. And uh, this is probably one of those... Fishermen uh, rather dump the cargo than pay the fine in port, um, just to show the waste that's going on. Ohio, U.S. oil finishes. U.S. Ohio finishes the year with earthquake as fears grows. It was caused by oil drilling. Uh, magnitude 4.0 on the Richter scale. Norway landslide forces more evacuations. More than 50 people were evacuated from their homes when a large landslide ripped through a rural area outside uh, one of the big cities on Sunday. It was a brutal start to the new year following a string of storms that also forced evacuations in western Norway earlier in the week. And that's about all new they have today. Over to the extinction protocol. A south island of New Zealand rattled by unending spasm of earthquakes. Uh, January 1st, an earthquake measuring 5.3 on the Richter scale on Saturday struck New Zealand's Christchurch city, which had witnessed serious damage after being hit by a 6.3 magnitude earthquake in February. And, uh, yeah, it's just ongoing with Christchurch. And they're saying the... The psychological stress is mounting, of course. Uh, residents are leaving in record numbers. Uh, and they're saying something about the geological stability of the island is eroding. Uh, you got to remember this, this city was built on loose gravel uh, underneath kind of thing. Um, Japan's 
Sakurajima volcano erupts again on New Year's Day, and you got to remember this is one of the most active volcanoes in the country or in the world. Uh, very, very extreme uh, activity here lately. Um, some very dramatic eruptions. And uh, New Year's fireworks blamed for rain, for rain of dead birds from skies over Arkansas for the second year in a row. Uh, please, uh, at, they said the initial bird deaths were reported coming in around 7 o'clock in the, in the evening and the police went around trying to stop the fireworks from happening. Um, but there's still a lot of, of, of dead birds in the area again this year. Of course, we had the 6.8 magnitude earthquake strikes island arc off the coast of Japan. Uh, just another ongoing um, seismic events that is on the Japanese peninsula. And that's about all new they have this week. Over to the watchers, Phobos Grunt re-entry animation. They have an animation out on how they think uh, the Phobos Grunt's going to re-enter here shortly. Um, it's due to land anytime um, this or next week. Eruption from the far side, solar western limb. Sunspot 1384, currently located just behind the sun's western limb. Erupted today around 1445. Uh, putting out some sea flares and a full halo CME, but it's not earth directed. And 41 quakes in 24 hours hits Christchurch, New Zealand, of course. Um, again, they're, they're ongoing there. Uh, NASA's twin Grail spacecraft successfully entered lunar orbit. Uh, they completed the entry to lunar orbit and are preparing to study the moon in unprecedented detail. Uh, it will allow the scientists to understand what goes on below the lunar surface. Uh, in this particular case, the GRAIL strands for gravity, recovery, and interior laboratory. Uh, so they are setting satellites up to study the subsurface of the moon. And you got to remember last year, uh, they shot that missile in at super fast, faster than bullet speed to impact the moon, and the moon just sucked it in. There was no big plume out or anything like that. I remember that distinctly. And that's about all new they have tonight. Over to the RSOE, they've got a long list of things. Uh, landslide in Brazil, pretty extensive due to extreme weather. Uh, got more extreme weather out of the United Kingdom. Uh, high winds, that kind of thing. Snowstorm in the Cleveland, Ohio. Uh, they have risked a heat wave in New Zealand, but they say the state of Victoria, and the story reads on, this is out of Australia. Uh, apparently the heat is uh, as high as it's ever been in a century for the first of the year, uh, so much so that the electric company had to shut off power to entire communities uh, to prevent brush fires and that kind of thing, so these people had to suffer through the heat without air conditioning or any kind of relief like that. Uh, just something to pay attention to. You can't always count on the power being there for you. Of course, they've got the, the super volcano in Germany gearing up. A uh, huge fireball on uh, New Year's Eve night in the state of New Mexico, St. Augustine Plains, uh, Cartron County area. Uh, they said a huge flash in the sky. They heard us, the, the sonic boom. And there is a bounty on pieces of this meteorite if you know where they are, that kind of thing. Uh, flash flooding in Thailand, uh, pretty extensive, and of course the birds in uh, Arkansas. That is about all climate change I have tonight. Over to E&E &E News, uh, got a story, strange, animals went mad and began attacking humans after exposure to high radiation levels, says Chernobyl scientists, dogs, foxes, wolves, and hogs. And they have a, a video entailed on that. TEPCO, recent quake caused water level drop in tank next to sp spent fuel pool number four. You got to remember this is the one Arnie Gunderson is worried about. They just had another major quake out there. And uh, the water is leaking, I hear, five times faster than it was before the quake. Seals, walruses, now un unprecedented number of sea turtle deaths in Vancouver Island, says Oceanographer. And they have an audio uh, interview on that, and this is all due to the Fukushima radiation and all the toxins that they are pumping into the Pacific Ocean. This, the currents are finally um, 
showing the effects almost a year later. The IEEE Fukushima Unprecedented In Scope situations appear to be utterly beyond human control. Raging fire in a spent fuel pond, yet claims only partial meltdowns. And uh, here comes the lies just coming out. Um, they can't hide the lies anymore. Japan spent fuel cover-up, lying government officials, another story. Uh, Jim Carrey's website features nuclear plant leaking dark smoke and li liquid. Clicking it takes you to Underworld Hellscape, and they have a video on how that takes place on Jim Carrey's website. And apparently Jim Carrey does follow e, &E News. Uh, they tracked him back on his Twitter or something. And uh, radiation biologist, tree leaves were gigantic after Chernobyl. Witch's broom effect. So they, these leaves were just huge. Reactor number two needed depleted uranium and or americenium injections, said NRC email. Uncontrolled criticality, criticality discussed. And they were um, injecting depleted uranium and americenium into the, the reactor to help um, slow down the uncontrolled reaction kind of thing. Uh, here's a big story. New study, aerosolized plutonium from Fukushima detected in Europe, spent fuel indicated. Now these were tests taken back in April and early May of last year in Hungary, I believe the country was, and they detected levels of aerosol plutonium due to spent fuel rods, and of course we had these big explosions and stuff, and there is no safe levels for plutonium whatsoever. Uh, I believe half shelf life of 14,000 years or whatnot. Uh, report. TEPCO sends emergency mail about reactor 4. Water level decreasing at 5 times normal rate in tank near spent fuel pool. And the link to a New Year's earthquake is unclear. And of course they are dodging the truth over and over again. Uh, magazine boss back from Fukushima. Major cities are being irradiated. They're not telling the people the truth. And they have a video on that, of course. Uh, here is a point of all points. Nuclear expert. Reactors produce 50 years of electricity and a half a million years of waste. Not particularly a good deal. And again, I will say it. Uh, nuclear energy is a crime against humanity. They should shut down every single nuclear power plant in the world. Um, it is all just a big scam and bullshit. I would rather uh, rub sticks together for light than use nuclear energy. It's much safer. Uh, that is about all I have for you tonight. Of course, if I missed anything, please leave your comments or attach your videos below. Uh, enjoy while you can, everybody. And uh, don't forget to check out hippie news and stuff. I'll see you next time. Thanks.